unless you want to stand up and give, give your tickets to whoever you want to give. But if you're sitting down, you will need one for yourself because all them seats will be sold by Monday night. But everybody will get two if you're playing or not. And whoever's not involved, that's what will be happening. Okay, boys, it's all up to you. In the Ensley Trophy, which is the Conference League Cup, Rovers have progressed to the final, having beaten Southport, Northwich Victoria and Morecambe along the way. 1-0 up from the first leg of the final at Farnborough, Rovers were clear favourites to lift the trophy. these dreams have thought that Rovers would have been pushing for some silverware come the end of this season? No, no, not at all. No. I mean, yeah. and how many are they going to win tonight? 3-0. Three 3-0? Nil. Three nil. Don't you think they found really good then? 3-0. Rovers 3-0. How many? Who's got two? Third and two. Third and two? Yeah. That's what yeah. Yes. Also, wishes to Robert Parry. He's eight on the 11th of May. Robert is a junior world.
ist ja very, very happy for me. Ein Ragnar ist der Ragnar. Ein Ragnar ist der Ragnar. On reflection, it's been a strange old season. If you'd have been told in the summer of 98 that Rovers would win silverware, in front of over 7,000 fans, the biggest non-league gate for over two years, and be honoured with a civic reception, you could have been excused for thinking it's all just a dream. And who would ever have thought that Neville Southall, John Sheridan and Steve Nicholl would have donned Rovers shirts? At last, supporters have something to cheer about. Ghosts of bygone days have been laid to rest, and it's now time to look forward. up there next season which I'm, I'm not promising you can't promise anything in, the, in in life really but I know we'll give it his best shot and the players will bring in it summer will strengthen the squad and if we give uh, the Doncaster public what they deserve then we'd, we'd win the league by miles so uh, we'll be striving now all summer uh, our work starts now whereas the boys will have a bit of a break but me and Glyn's work start now to bring players in and get ready for next season and uh, it, it if we do half as well as this season, I'll be delighted because I feel I feel the town's just waiting to take off and uh, give them a successful team and uh, the world's your oyster. Thank you. Andy Warrington, Dean Walling, Mark Barnard and ex-premiership striker Mike Newell have signed for Rovers during the summer, underlining the club's promotion ambitions.